Hey ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing today? Uh, well, it's Friday. We've made it again. And like I always say, uh, we get there one way or another, right? But uh, anyway, I got, um, sometimes you have things that you want to talk about and important pieces that you like to talk about and that you have fun with and I can't quite explain it. And every time I get my hands on one of these GEC pieces, it makes it, it, it it's a different kind of feeling. It is a completely different kind of feeling than I get with any other cutlery um ever. Ever. I'm going to try to get my point across the best that I can because sometimes it's always, I find it difficult to get my point across because my enthusiasm and the way I get excited and um, it's it, it's just, it's difficult for me sometimes um, trying to get my point across. But as soon as I turn this camera off, I could be calm as a cucumber and I could let the words just flow right off my tongue but as soon as i'm in front of this camera and i'm ex i'm in the moment i guess i'm in the moment um I, I you know that this is what happens because that is how excited i get over my cutlery um it, it's 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 over and beyond um a hobby at this point for me you know what i mean this is not a hobby for me this is something that goes a little bit further you know what I mean um it's just it's just a little more it, it that that's how I can explain it right now but I um a while ago um I received I purchased um this right here we're going to show you that right there I received this um, rust orange uh, natural bone. Um, it is an 86 pattern Barlow, 86 pattern Barlow. And they came out with this piece new um, with this, uh, with the bolsters, the um, described the uh, bolster. And, um, well, when I got this one, I thought that it was the end of, it was the end, it was the end. Because when I handled it and I started carrying it and, um, I, I just enjoyed this knife so much. There, there was never a knife that I enjoyed more than this piece here and as time went on and I I you know I kept thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and I said to myself I have to I have to go after another one I have to go after another one now there's quite a few of these out there there's a green uh my Carta one that is also fantastic and then you go up to a $500 piece. Um, it's just, I, I can't even explain that. It's just beautiful. Um, I've seen nothing like it in my whole entire life, that piece there. But you also have um, this other one that I had purchased just now. This is a wonderful... Um, Red and black linen micarta 86 Barlow. Um, it, it, it's just absolutely just fantastic. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. The fit and finish on it, the size, the size is just. I mean, it's wonderful. The size is where I like it to be. These are kind of like, I would believe these are 
more than likely pushing the 77 pattern. Now you're getting up into the 77 pattern, and that is my all-time favorite pattern. Um, the 77s are, to me, to me, where it's at. You know what I mean? If you can get, you know, if you're getting into them 77s, um, they're bigger pieces, and um, they're just... <sighs> They're just fantastic. I mean, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. This is on another level, guys, as far as collecting cutlery. And um, these GEC knives are... Um, they, they really are in another league. They truly, truly are in another league as far as collecting-wise go, collectability, uh, money, um, what they're going to be worth. Um, this is why these knives are the hardest, hardest knives right now in the hobby to collect. There's nothing harder to collect than these GEC pieces. Um, they are in demand. They are in demand. And all of the big, uh, collectors, all of the big, big collectors have got their eyes on these guys here, these GEC pieces. And, um, well, for good reason, you know what I mean? They are, they are to me. They are, to me, in my opinion, hands down, the best cutlery in the entire world. In the entire world. There's no cutlery out there. There's no cutlery out there that that is on this level. That is That is really on this level. Now... Yes, that's my opinion. That is that is a pretty bold opinion. That is a pretty, you know, a pretty tough opinion. But as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, there is no other cutlery out there that can compare, that can compare to GEC cutlery. If you have got a collection if you have got a collection of these um first off well god bless you and second off um that's just fantastic it's it's just fantastic because what these pieces are going to be worth is just, I can only imagine. I just can only imagine because what they're fetching now is just unbelievable. So I can only imagine years to come, years to come, these things are going to be gold mines. They're going to be gold mines, especially, especially if you have got the good ones. If you have got if you are sitting on Northfields and you are sitting on a bunch of Tom's Choices, okay, uh, just those two alone, just those two alone, I don't own a single Tom's Choice. I do not own a single Northfield piece. Um... That's where the big, big, big money comes in at. They're starting at like five and six hundred bucks. If you look at them, you can't touch one of them under five, under like five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks. If you're looking to get a Tom's Choice, yeah, well, you, you know, you could get if you look around enough and, and you strike the right deal. But for the most part, for for the most part. They're like five and six hundred bucks. They're like five and six hundred bucks. And there's no way, there's there's no way I can I can afford that. I can afford that.
I can't, I can't go down that road. I can't, you know what I mean? I can't shell out that kind of money for a pocket knife. I can't. Um, so I do the very, very best that I can to get the ones that, that I can afford. And it's not even affording them. It is going into what you don't do to get these things and to get the money up for these things. It's like drugs, you know what I mean? It's basically like drugs because, um, they're just that, they're just that phenomenal. And I think that these pieces are going to be that phenomenal years to come. And I must continue. I must continue on trying the best that I can, the best that I can, um, to keep on trying to pick these up. Now I started very early. Thank God. Thank God. I started early in my uh, career with collecting these. Um, I started collecting these right away. Um, early when these launched, I start. I hopped on these as soon as I started seeing these come out. GEC knives come out. Um, I immediately uh, took an attraction for them. And, um, I, it just went on from there. I just couldn't, it's an effect. I'm just effectuated with them. You know what I mean? I just, the way I look at them and the fit and finish and the way they feel and just their quality, just their quality. They're made in the United States of America. They're all handmade by U.S. Uh, people, um, and they put pride. These are these are put together with the most, most, the most, how do I say it? Uh, the craftsmanship that these people don't put into their craft. They love their craft. And it means so much to them to put these things together with the highest, with the highest quality, the highest quality. And that's what you get when you get one of these. And this is why you pay that much money for one of these. Um, they're just the most beautiful things in the world. And like I said, again, if you have a collection of these, um, that's, that's just, that's just beautiful. You know what I mean? That's just beautiful. If you can really get a nice collection of these. And if you look on Instagram, you can really see some, you could really see some collections, uh, that will really, that would really blow you away. Um, some of these GEC collections. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this one. Um, I just got it. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the red and black linen micarta 86 Barlow. Try and give you a look at that linen micarta, that red and black. It's just beautiful. This It's so smooth. It's just, it's beautiful. Look how the pins are all set perfect. All your pins are just set, I mean, perfect. You know what I mean? This is as perfect, as perfect as a knife can be. You know what I mean? Um, there's nothing perfect in this world. Uh... But God darn, man, I'll tell you, these are, these are awfully close to being perfect pieces of cutlery, perfect pieces of cutlery. And, um, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, these are where, I mean, these knives are where, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, these are where it's at. This is where the big, 
this is where the big, the, you know, this is the big hitters game. You know, this is the the serious, the serious collectors. Um, you know, they they really get down with these uh, traditionals, and they know what they're going to be worth. They know that's why you know the big the big shots, the people that have all this money. You know, they're get, they're grabbing each. You know what I mean? Because they know what. This is how valuable these are going to be years to come. They're they're just going to be they're going to be out of the park. I mean, just think. I mean, could you imagine? Just say. I mean, just think. I'm just throwing a number out there. Twenty years from now. Twenty years. Thirty years. What these are going to be worth if you keep them, if you keep these mint and all this. 30 years from now, what are they going to be worth? What are they going to be worth for 30, 30 years from now? Would this not be fantastic to hand down to your loved one, to your son, if you have a son? Wouldn't you love to hand this collection down to your son, if you have a son or sons? Wouldn't it, that just make you so proud to gift these all to your children and to say, here, guys, this is, you know, from dad, cherish them, take care of them. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm giving these off to you guys now. Now it's time to, so to speak, pass the torch, pass the torch. Oh, man, alive. I just, I could go on and on and on. It's just a, it's just a mind blower. The traditional knife game is just a, it's just, it's just the best. You know what I mean? It's the best to me. You know what I mean? And, and, and they're just fantastic. The fit and finish on them, quality, you know. All the traditionals out there, they're just fantastic pieces. They really are. And I'm just happy. I'm happy to be able to get a get a little, little piece of it, a little taste of them. I'm trying. I'm trying the best I can. And they're not easy. They are not easy to get. Go ahead and try and get one of them. You know what I mean? They're hard. They're hard. But that's what makes it that much more fun. A friend of mine, I heard him once say, it's a hustle. Getting these knives, and once you finally get it through the mail and in your hand like now, it's a true hustle. It is a true, true hustle. And on that note, I'm going to let you guys get down the road. I just wanted to show you this piece here. And that's about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these pieces. And, uh, well, be good, be well, be safe, guys. You guys take care, enjoy your weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Be well.